He's just not that into you. I know, I know you hate that phrase. It's such a frustrating position and one that's difficult to acknowledge and accept. That's why in this video, I'm gonna share four not so obvious signs that the guy you like is just not that into you. And then I'll share what you can do to get over it. So don't go anywhere, cause we're starting right now. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello and I'm a psychologist and relationship coach. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love. So if you're interested in making your love life the best part of your life, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell notification so you aren't missing anything. Okay, on to our topic, signs that he's not into you and what you can do about it. Sometimes you know that he's interested. Other times you worry that he couldn't care less. It makes dating and starting new relationships so difficult and frustrating. And it's certainly a common situation. I mean, it's been a reoccurring topic on sex in the city. Books have been written about this topic and there's even a Hollywood movie dedicated to this phenomenon. And so many people have conversations with their friends trying to decode another person's behavior. People waste so much time and energy overanalyzing the behavior of a person that they're dating and making excuses for them and justifying their behavior. These hours of suffering and worry and anxiety are a painful waste of time and so unnecessary. So without further ado, I'm going to share some of the not so obvious signs that he's not into you, but also explain how to best handle these situations. Number one, he only makes plans that are convenient for him. In other words, he doesn't go out of his way to see you. A guy who likes you and wants you will make efforts to show you how special you are to him. Because action speaks louder than words here. A man can tell you anything he wants, but if he's not willing to put in the effort to go out of his way to show you how special you are, well, then there's something wrong. And what do I mean by going out of his way? Well, he comes to your side of town to pick you up. He makes an effort to plan a date in advance rather than call you at the last minute to see if you wanna hang out. He remembers the details of your schedule and makes himself available during these times when you're free. And he offers to do things for you when he can help. See, in all relationships, we communicate simultaneously on at least two levels, what we say and what we do. And usually a person's verbal and actual behaviors convey the same message. But when there are inconsistencies in communication where a person may say one thing but act on another, yeah, then we have problems. These mixed messages make a person difficult to understand but even harder to trust. So yeah, if he's into you, he will do whatever he can to make sure he sees you and spends time with you, even when it's not perfectly convenient for him. He lets you know you're a priority. Number two, when they make excuses instead of making time. No matter how busy a person is, they either make time for you or they make excuses for you. If you or your relationship is important and a high priority, they will find the time or make the time for you. If they don't make the time, a relationship just might not be a priority. Perhaps they're focused on doing well in college and getting into graduate school, or maybe they just started a career and are super focused on work, leaving little time for anything else. Those things are understandable and maybe even admirable, but that doesn't mean that it's right for you. I know there was a period not so long ago when I felt super busy with work and family obligations. And during that time, I didn't date at all. I didn't have time, but more importantly, I just didn't feel like putting in the effort to meet and date anyone. So I didn't go on any dates at all for about a year and a half. Instead, I focused on myself, on my family and my work. And if I were to have met someone amazing during that period, I'm sure I would have appeared to be not that into them. So if you're dating a person who is super busy and not making you a high priority, understand that it's not a reflection of you. Don't take it personally or question whether you're good enough. When someone is super focused on a goal, they might even be afraid that a relationship will hurt their chances of accomplishing that goal. And when that happens, they will most definitely be afraid of getting too involved or too attached to anyone. If you like a man that's unavailable, you're putting yourself at a high risk for being used and hurt. Remember, a relationship might be the last thing that he wants. Number three. He tells you he's not ready for a relationship. This is a popular one that both men and women use when they're not into someone. Or they say they aren't ready for a commitment because they're afraid of being hurt again. 
Certainly, it's appropriate to learn from our experiences and to be cautious with our heart. At the same time, when you meet that one special person who turns your world upside down, you're willing to do whatever it takes to keep that person in your life. Whatever fears you might have won't come close to the fear you'll have of losing the one you really love. So if a guy's telling you up front, I'm not ready for a relationship, that's the same thing as saying, I don't want a relationship, isn't it? So avoid making excuses and fooling yourself into believing that you can wait it out. The more thought and energy you invest while waiting, the stronger your feelings will become. So don't waste another moment thinking about their situation or wondering when it might change. Move forward and find someone who's on the same page as you are. In the end, you'll be happy you did. And number four, when they get defensive about talking about the relationship topic. When a person is interested in you and wants you, they are thinking of the possibility of a future with you. So if you bring up the topic at a reasonable time, not on date number one, it should be a welcome topic to discuss. Or at the very least, he should be interested in addressing your concerns and understanding your feelings. If you aren't happy with your situation and you want to discuss it, defensiveness is the last thing you should be getting from him. But if that's not the case, certainly you should be questioning whether or not he's really into you. Okay, so let's say the writing is on the wall, you're seeing signs that are troublesome and you know that this person might not be that into you. Now what? What do you do about it? Well, what I see many women do is they dismiss the signs. They dismiss what their gut instincts are telling them and they dismiss what the guy just told them. Instead, they believe it's just a matter of time until the guy falls for them and wants to be committed. It's like they want him even more when he doesn't want a relationship. But why? Why do people refuse to accept the fact that someone doesn't want a relationship with them or that someone isn't into them? Well, it's because people deeply personalize romantic rejection to the point of attaching their value and self-worth to whether or not a person is interested and wants them. And when you do that, you give away your power and rely on the validation of a man to tell you that you are good enough. So if they aren't interested, you start to question yourself and ask, what's wrong with me? Think about it this way. This is a person who hasn't known you very long. It's just a person you went on a few dates with. They don't know you and they don't know your value or your worth. And your value and worth has nothing to do with his perception of you, either good or bad. Giving your power away by basing your worth on someone else's opinion of you will always create emotional suffering. But when you shift into what you want instead of whether or not someone wants you, you gain so much freedom and you move forward with confidence. So take your power back and trust the process. If you two are meant to be together, there's nothing that will keep you apart. But even if you are really into him and he isn't into you, trust it is meant to be for your well-being as well as for his. It's not personal and it says absolutely nothing about your value as a human being or how lovable you are or whether or not you will ever find Mr. Right. And don't say, but I want him. Because in the end, do you really want someone who doesn't appreciate your value and want you more than anything? Look, new relationships should be exciting, passionate, and easy. When you really like someone, you want them to know how valuable and important the relationship is. And you want to know that your feelings are being reciprocated. So you treat them with as much affection and consideration as you can. And that's exactly how you should be treated in return. Don't settle for anything less. Remember, if you're busy waiting and wondering and worrying about this relationship, you just might miss the opportunity to meet the right one. So today I also have a question for all of you. Are you in a situation or dating a person you really like yet you don't know where you stand? Have you discussed your relationship goals? Or have you had the discussion but now you know that you're on two different pages with regard to your future? If so, why are you sticking it out? Leave a comment below and let's start a discussion. I'll tell you what I think about the situation. Oh, and if you want to build great relationships and grow happy with the people you love, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you're not missing any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.